Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing a review on the Maybelline Fit Me Gel Stick Foundation. Um, I have it in the shade 110, which is called um, Porcelain. Basically the whitest white I could find at the store. Now I just kind of want to talk about the claims it makes as said on the Maybelline website. First of all, it has a powdery anti-shine core, which is this little pink thing in the middle there. It is also the first gel stick to have the anti-shine core. It is good for on-the-go makeup and it is supposed to absorb oil and stay matte. It is for sure a light to medium coverage foundation. It doesn't really cover freckles or conceal pimples very well. It really just kind of like blurs them. It looks very natural. It has a matte finish. I probably don't need the powder I used this morning to keep it on, but I use powder anyways. And it comes in this lovely twistable tube here. It's a stick, obviously. And it costs about $7 at the drugstore. Mine was like around $7 with tax at your fancy pants Walmart. The way I put it on is I uh, twisted it up obviously and applied it to my face in stripes and then I blended with my fingers and set it with the powder. Again the powder was probably not needed. Um, a brush or a beauty blender could really also work for this foundation and that's only if you're like terrified of putting your bacteria infested hands onto your when face. It's actually on your face it feels really powdery and velvety. It this particular makeup matches my skin much better than the L'Oreal shade I purchased. Um, mainly because they don't have a shade that is lighter than the one I currently use, and this is lighter. It blends really, really well with concealer and blends really well in general. Like I got some on my hand here, and I'm just gonna kind of like blend it into my skin, and just like that, it's gone. It blends really well with blushes and other kinds of makeup. Maybelline's website didn't really make any claims as far as the stay power, like it's extra long wearing or super long wearing or anything like that. Um, this is my face after an entire day at school. As you can see, it hasn't really covered the acne I have going on and my freckles are still present. There's obviously going to be some rub off during the day. As with all foundations, um, it seems pretty easy to rub off actually when you first put it on, but when it really sets onto your skin, it's it stays a lot better. This is also really easily removed with makeup wipes, which is good for me because that's what I use to take my makeup off before bed. And my general opinion about this is that yes, I would recommend this to you, but not if you have dry skin. Uh, this will just make you look patchy and flaky and awful because it's supposed to absorb excess oil and those with dry skin don't really have excess oil per chance. If you're looking to cover up acne and freckles, you're going to have to use this with concealer and that's just going to be your life. Um, the thing I really hate about this is that it does not explicitly list a sunscreen or an SPF. In the ingredients that I looked up, which happened to be on Ulta's website instead of Maybelline's, which is kind of sketchy. Anyway, in the ingredient list that I found on Ulta's website, it said that it may contain titanium dioxide, which is not a guarantee for me. And I like to be guaranteed that I'm going to have sun protection, and this just doesn't provide it. Um, but I'm still going to use it. I may have to start using a face sunscreen with it, and that's just how it's going to have to be. I would give this foundation a 3 out of 5 stars. I like it. It's not a Holy Grail product for me. It might be something I would buy again. Um, definitely over the L'Oreal foundation, and that's only because I like it and it's not as expensive. If you were looking to purchase this, Walmart sells this for at least $2 cheaper than Ulta. The only bad thing is that you cannot swatch, so if you're going to try to pick a shade, you're pretty much just taking a random stab at it. But just kind of like hold it up to your underarm and kind of, t you can kind of tell that way. Give it a go. It'll be alright. 
that is really all I have to say about this product. I hope you enjoyed this review, and I hope this helps you out with any questions that you may have about this product, or if you were thinking about using it, maybe I answered some of your questions. If you have any more questions about this foundation, or other foundations, or how to match foundations, leave them in the comments. Bye! If you're liking to... Dolphin hands. Here we go. Engaging. There's a cat on my lap. I have no idea what I'm doing with my life today.